We are here with co-head soccer coach Anna Job. Anna, such a, an eventful spring in, in past six, seven months for you and your family. Um, you know, first of all, take me back to Sterling was born March 5th. Um, the pandemic came about a, a week later. Just what has this, um, what has this experience been like trying to plan and execute a fall camp and then of course to have everything change right after Sterling was born? Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's um it's been a whirlwind I think for us. Um, you know, we've been incredibly blessed to have this time with him. Um, but yeah, just planning planning for the the unexpected and not really knowing um, you know what's going to happen has been a bit a bit daunting. But um, you know, we're we're trying to be flexible and trying to roll with the punches. And um, I think Jess and I have, have committed to doing that, and our girls have been great about that. You know, they've had to step into some really um, just uncertainty and so uh, to handle that with with just such flexibility we've been really proud of them but yeah it's been a challenge um, but we 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 love that we love um, just new challenges and that's been one of them for sure <laughs> don't grab my hair I told you we talked about that. in the uh, a normal spring you're talking about <laughs> spring camp spring scrimmages yeah. traveling uh, of course recruiting what was what was the original plan before the pandemic about how um, y'all would best try to accomplish all of those things with, with the distance Sterling. Yeah, yeah. So the, the in the initial, it was just okay. Let's get let's get him onto a routine. Let's get get settled as new parents. Um, you know, both both sets of families were committed to coming and helping out, um, and so that was going to be really really awesome. And then we were allowed to be home just like that. And so um, so we really we really were thankful for that time at home. But that was kind of the plan: just have family come in and um, and help us out and. You know the the community of Natchitoches was awesome. You know we had meals for a month, um, specifically from our church and and just people in the community. So uh, we we were more than more than set and just have been really blessed by this community and our families. What was that time like? Um, of course, after the pandemic, uh, there, there's no camp, there's no recruiting. Uh, you and Jess really got to experience all of that, especially the first couple of weeks and months of of being first time parents, what was that experience like? Yeah, it was just, it was awesome. And and just to see him um, develop and change so rapidly was just so, so special. And, and um, you know, just all of the, the new things that, you know, I had my mom there to help, so that was amazing. Um, she's a rock star. Um, so yeah, we just enjoyed every moment and tried to soak it in, like everyone was telling us, just soak in these moments. Um, so we really tried to do that and tried to, of just really value um, the time at home with him and um, yeah so it was, it was just it was really special to us no doubt um you know this team has been able to been around sterling a little bit um, of course you want to to keep everybody as safe as possible but how has how have these players reacted to mm -hmm. sterling yeah just amazing and, they, and they've been so supportive and so excited since day one um, that we told them and have wanted to be a part of every step and so that's been really um, really a fun part of this and unique part of this journey is that they've been able to see it every step of the way and um, so now that he's here uh, they are they are just you know um, just raring to go and, and anxious to hold him and, and to to you know be be his sisters of sorts and so we're we're really excited for that time uh, when that time comes but they've been so supportive and so excited and that's really brought enthusiasm to Jess and I just having them so supportive it's been it's been amazing what um when you you kind of serve as a, a mother figure on this team anyways kind of a counselor of, of, of sorts too how has being a first-time mother changed your perspective as a coach Oh man, I think it's more so than anything. It's just reiterated the things that we feel are important with this program. It's it's um, kind of brought hands and feet and a face to the things that um, that we do here. And so I wouldn't say that things have necessarily changed a whole lot, but it's just made it way more personal now. Um, and and the things that we try to instill in our players, um, I found extra motivation to do with him just because I I get to start from the ground up molding you know we do molding just a, a a human soul and that's just been amazing um and so the the girls have really prepared me in so many ways 
to be a parent. And so that I'm really thankful for the time that I got to spend with the girls, you know, just, just talking to them and, and having him had just reiterated, I think the importance of, of, um, just parenting in general. This, um, you know, this team, this program, uh, started to win five last year as, as the second youngest team in the nation. Um, but you know, finished with 13 wins, tied a, tied a program yeah. record. What, what was that, uh, trajectory, that growth like in during the season to where this team advanced to the Southland Conference Tournament Championship game? Well, they, they embraced, um, you know, just the grind every day and just the process. And so to have them just believe so much in that process and that it'll pay off even in the beginning when they couldn't really see the, and believe those results weren't coming for them. Um, they just stayed true to who they were and, and, and really committed to that process and it paid off in the long run, which is what we were saying even before, even when we were 0-5, commit to the process that it, it'll pay off um, and it did big. And so we're really proud of them for that. And then with everything that's going on, the pandemic, uh, of course, no real, no real spring camp. Fall camp's been affected, although you're about to really start getting it going after people recover from Hurricane Laura. What? How do you take the momentum from that year and the experience that these girls gained and, and build on that going forward? Well, it's really, it's really been, you know, um, the girls just continuing to carry that on. You know, we tell them all the time, this is your team and this is your career, and, and we challenge them to to take ownership of that and so when when we started the spring they were they had take they took ownership of of all of that and so then when we were sent home they continued all the goals that they set were still attainable and so they they continued to to grind when they were at home when they came back they were fit they were ready to go um, so really just a huge credit to the girls in in just buying into everything that we talk about um, just being, you know, you're you're a student athlete 24/7. It doesn't change when you're in season or, or not in season, or you have a pandemic or you have a hurricane. You you're still an athlete and you carry yourself that way. And they've really bought into that, and and that's that's really been been the key. And we're excited for the spring. It's just a continuation of of everything. And this adversity is only going to propel us to to greater heights. I really do believe that. Defense was such a key part of of how this team was able to to be so successful in conference play. Uh, when, when you look and you have uh, a defender, uh, the defensive player of the year, and Nicole Henry back, Hallie Field, on and on, and Ace uh, Ida Moosh that is gonna be in her second year. I mean, what was this defense able to do? And now that those pieces are back, and especially a person, a player like Ace has that second year in the program, I and mean, what, how does this defense continue to build? Yeah, yeah, they, they are, Defense is the foundation for, for everything that, that we do, and so it builds from there, and the offense come from, from that defensive um, defensive structure, and so the girls have continued to buy into that. The leadership has already started talking about that and, and developing ways to be stronger in that area. That's been a point of focus for us already um, starting in uh, in this fall, and so um, so yeah, that, that's, it's a huge, huge piece in the foundation of, of everything that we do. And we're excited to see those girls that got some incredible experience last year, um, continue to lead this team and continue to, um, you know, educate the new ones as they come in and get experience. So, uh, really, really excited for, for the experience that's going to continue here in the spring. Of course, first time parents, you've had a lot of, of different and new experiences with Sterling. He makes that face. You know the diaper's got to be changed. Okay. Who's faster at, at changing the diaper, <laughs> Anna? You and Jess. We we flip a coin, but usually usually it's me. And I think I think probably between you and me, uh, it would be me. And I think he would probably say that too. Anna, thank you so much for yeah, your time. Thank you.